These were the scenes just over a week ago when police fired tear gas and shot into the air to disperse anti-government protesters at a religious festival in the Ethiopian town of Bishoftu. It triggered a stampede in which scores of people died. The incident was part of months of unrest which led to Sunday's declaration of a state of emergency. Ethiopia's Prime Minister says the measures needed because the unrest is a threat to national stability. Opposition parties say it's another attempt by the government to hold on to power. The unrest in Oromia region started last year when anger over a development scheme for the capital turned into wider protests against the government. The unrest has included attacks on businesses, many of them foreign-owned, casting a shadow over what's become one of Africa's fastest-growing economies. Rights groups say more than 500 people have died in the unrest. The government says the figure is inflated.